last sight. My god, I hate this place so much. Even the, the one thing that is good about this place isn't even that meaningfully good. Which is the differently designed cave. So in all honesty, I can say that there is nothing bigger. There's been nothing about this place that has been intriguing or interesting or fun in any way, shape or form. Right in front of me, just target it, please. Oops, bad. I'm spamming targets. Oh, you can't see me spam. I really like this spell though. This mog blood boom. Mog spell. I did notice last time I was here, there's a bunch of these... Um, parts here that are open, right? But what I didn't notice is that, so somebody did say it in chat, just to be clear. Just thank you for that. I'm not gonna lie, I've... Suspect. I've only I've been wanting to just rush through this place like really fast. I'm genuinely looking forward to going back to uh, Crumbling Place because I looked at a video of mine just casually, and I saw that there is a dragon or something just resting, like a small dragon, not a big annoying one, but a small dragon resting on one of those floating rocks that I missed last time. Uh, let's see what is this freshly. Belongs to the little guys. Actually, forbidden lands that will search stench of death from lands that will be excited from the memory of history. Okay. Never mind, let's read it. Uh, freshly singed battlegrounds effus eff effusing, effusing with the stench of the dead. Forbidden lands that will be excised from the memory of history. This is where the vulgar militia serve as untiring unsung watchkeepers. What's this? Raise item discovery. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I've been wondering, uh. I've actually been wondering where that is. Because I have the golden one, which gives me more money for runes. So I've been wondering where. Uh... Where the discovery one has been. Right, so one trick somebody said in the comments. Awesome. <laughs> Alright. Clearly, we were standing uh, right, right at the edge. So let's uh... 
Ah. Looks like it's safe. I would toss the rainbow thing, but a little bit takes a little bit of time to get used to the short range of claws. I think what I want to try next is the one-handed katana. Or maybe switching it around to put rivers of blood on the left hand and then a new cooler uh, ash of war on the right hand with a katana. Right. Seems like there's a path over there. Not to mention there's a guy standing. Do you know what? Let's just go. Oh. That's not nice. Lights. A lantern, rather. Well, I'm not gonna fight this fair, man. Here, have some blood. Ah, oh, love the camera. If you're wondering what I'm trying to do, is I'm trying to target. <laughs> That's not what I wanted! Alright, this works. I need to get rid of this uh, <laughs> Bloodhound step. Um, let's first string. I'm particularly afraid of it, but uh, I just want to make sure I preserve it.
damage is uh, not that great. Sounded like it was something over here. Oh, it was maybe that door. Is there a stake of some sort here? No. Alright, let's... Um... Oh yeah, there is. Ah, if there is one, then let's just go for it. <clears throat> ah, let's see what we're fighting. Ah. Oh. I'm just gonna copy me again. Nothing special. Wait, what was that move? Yes. Feel the unfairness. Flame Monk Armor. What an odd <coughs> reward for this place. Asher remains in which spirits yet dwell, used to summon the spirit of blah blah blah. Amon swore fealty to the god slaying Black Flame and so became the first fire monk to turn traitor. Or perhaps it's better said that he fled from the giant's flame out of cowardice. Death root. Alright, let's go give that to our buddy. Or, well, I don't know if he's our buddy, we'll find out. He might flip out again. <coughs> we shall see. Here, or else it would have opened. There is nothing down there. When we get out of here, we can maybe take a look at some Ashes of War that work with katanas. Uh, not that the unsheath ability is not cool, but. Drake, Talisman, oh that's uh, the extra spell resistance. Oh I think I know where this is. Tedious, but we got through level up um, strength 14 and then we go dexterity 
35. To be able to, uh, maybe we use the... Uh, maybe... Actually, you know what? We can give it a try before we put some points. I should have done that beforehand. I should have just uh, tried the weapon out. Maybe it's complete banana. Also, the question is, what is better? One-handing or two-handing it? I'm gonna leave these marks on the map. And... Uh, maybe I'll just go do it off-camera. We'll see. Uh, but I'm pretty, pretty confident. I won't do the red wolf. And I'm pretty confident I'm not gonna do the, uh, the bear. Right, so that's slow. Oh, the back dash is actually pretty good. That's so cool though. So maybe it's just like a The rolling attack is really good. It's really fast, it seems like. And the backstep of that is also pretty decent. That is really cool though. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Um, is there anything that we can use in terms of spells? If you're moving into this world where we one hand and use spells, so maybe we should look at some options. This I think we tried. This is a potentially decent one. This could be decent. Does this work well against a bear? Somebody please tell me. Where's the one that buffs us? Do I even have it? Is there supposed to be a, an incantation that gives us a lot of damage and damage reduction? Or is it an actual power? I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, give it a shot. This. Do we say that this is done for now? I think so. I think this place is finished for now. Uh, I really don't want to spend more time there, especially not on camera. I'll do it off camera so I can ca cry and complain without uh, annoying anyone. <laughs> this place though, I've been looking forward to. This is, as I've said before, this reminds me a lot of uh, a portion of the map in Monster Hunter. This is where I have to go. Not entirely opposed to the idea of using this sword. Well, we'll try it against the boss or something at some point.
Some artillery coming my way. Holy... Okay. Get up to those uh, bastards sitting up there. Yes, looks like it. Trying to experiment with weaving in uh, this skill. Oh, sh I thought that was a. Uh Oof. To just force that one. A little bit afraid of uh, continuing to attack in case I fall off. So I think some eight. I think I can buy those just fine. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> And a backstab. Bit skeptical. That's good damage. I wonder if uh, that move has. Multiple explosions that can hit big targets multiple times. That would be pretty cool. Uh, the soft bundle worn by the head by Oracle envoys, densely wrapped in several layers of cloth, raises the potency of bubble-based skills. No one knows what the cloth hides, but some claims to have heard a faint whimpering from inside. It must have been their imagination. Maybe the their spirits? Or tiny creatures, perhaps? Okay, let's try to go this way. Something is up there and has to die. Oh, that seems uh, like it's going to take some work. <laughs>
We go deal with the bubble guy first. Hit it so that it causes a like, continuous burning. There we go. I'm just gonna play it safe. This thing is kind of. I have a feeling I'm gonna fall off soon. <laughs> Not being a defeatist, just... Is that where we came from? I think so, yeah. I think we can just drop down then. Know about the follow up. Didn't break his uh, poise. My beloved. Alright. I think we got all the branches. Almost fell off them. I keep forgetting that I actually am one-handing this sword, so I just have my spells readily available. <laughs> 